Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Change of Responsibility Ceremony in honor of Command Sergeant Major John E. Dobbins and Command Sergeant Major Deidre T. Blash. The host for today's ceremony is Colonel Mark E. Stackle, the commander of Brook Army Medical Center. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the invocation given by Chaplain Robert Heron. Good morning and please join with me in prayer. Lord, thank you for this joyful occasion in which we can celebrate the transition of two outstanding leaders. Thank you for how Command Sergeant Major Dobbins has epitomized what it means to have a don't quit attitude as he has navigated the various challenges of operating in this complex environment. As he continues to serve and know his soldiers and their needs, I ask that you would also give him the wisdom and strength to take care of his own spiritual, emotional, and physical needs. Lord, we also thank you for Command Sergeant Major Blash being selected for this assignment. We thank you for her diligence in studying and applying the principles of organizational and strategic leadership, knowing this has greatly impacted the lives of countless soldiers, families, and civilians under her care. Please give her the humility to listen, the courage to confront, the wisdom to advise, and the faith to believe as she takes this enormous responsibility. Finally, I ask that you would help each of us to serve daily with the memory and pride of those who have gone before. In your holy name I pray, amen. Please be seated. Today we are joined by many distinguished guests, visitors, and friends. Among them are Lieutenant General John Evans, Commanding General, U.S. Army North and 5th Army, Command Sergeant Major Jeremiah Gann, Command Sergeant Major, U.S. Army North and 5th Army, Mr. Joseph Bray, Civilian Aide to the Secretary of the Army, Texas South, Brigadier General E. Darren Cox, Commanding General, Medical Readiness Command West, and Dr. Kathy Cox. Command Sergeant Major Jennifer Francis, Command Sergeant Major, Medical Readiness Command West, and Ms. Danielle Francis. Command Sergeant Major John McDwyer, Command Sergeant Major, 3rd Armored Corps in Fort Cavazos, and Ms. Monique McDwyer. Command Sergeant Major Jason Guzman, Command Sergeant Major, U.S. Army Mission and Installation Contracting Command. Colonel Jason Williams, Commander, 32nd Medical Brigade, and Command Sergeant Major Rod <clears throat> Rodman Churchill, Command Sergeant Major, 32nd Medical Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the front rows of the pavilion as we honor the families of the outgoing and incoming Command Sergeants Major. At this time, Sergeant First Class Clark, a member of the Bamsey Sergeant Artie Murphy Club, is presenting a bouquet of red roses in full bloom to Command Sergeant Major Dobbins' wife, Olivia. Red is the color of the heart, and reflects the care and support she's shown her husband, Brook Army Medical Center, and to the soldiers and their families. Command Sergeant Major Dobbins' sons, Hudson and Holden, are receiving a small gift for their commitment and support for our organization. <clears throat> present, today, <clears throat> present today in support of Command Sergeant Major Blash is the Hawkins family. They are receiving a gift located under their seats as a token of appreciation for their support. Today's ceremony features honors to the nation, the change of responsibility, remarks, followed by the singing of the Army song. The commander of troops for today's ceremony is Sergeant Major Greg McGowan, Chief Clinical NCO, Brook Army Medical Center. The official party consists of the commander of Brook Army Medical Center, Colonel Mark E. Stackle, the outgoing Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major John E. Dobbins, and the incoming Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Deidre T. Blash. Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the single singing of our national anthem by Specialist Chaco. <laughs> Oh. 
Timing is everything. The units represented on the field in order are the 323rd Army Band, led by Staff Sergeant Heather Kragowski, Medical Readiness Battalion, JBSA, led by Lieutenant Colonel Marcos Martinez and Command Sergeant Major Angela Bowley, the Bamsey Color Guard, led by Sergeant First Class Glenn Orr, and the Soldier Recovery Unit, JBSA, led by Lieutenant Colonel Jeffrey Giesendoffer and Command Sergeant Major Caesar Quintana. The change of responsibility is a simple yet traditional event that is rich with symbolism and heritage. The key to the ceremony is the passing of the organizational colors. The very soul of a military unit is symbolized in the colors under which it fights, representing not only the lineage and the honors of the unit, but also the loyalty and unity of its soldiers. The custodian of the colors is the command sergeant major who is the senior enlisted soldier in the command and the principal advisor to the commander for all issues. The ceremony begins as Sergeant Major McGowan passes the Bamsey colors to Command Sergeant Major Dobbins. Command Sergeant Major Dobbins then passes the color to Colonel Stackle, signifying his relinquish the relinquishment of his duties as the Command Sergeant Major of Bamsey. Colonel Stackle passes the colors to Command Sergeant Major Blash, charging her with the duties as the Command Sergeant Major of Brook Army Medical Center. Charge orders for Command Sergeant Major Diedrich T. Blash. Let it be known from this day forward that the commander of Brook Army Medical Center has placed special trust and confidence in your patriotism, dedication, integrity, and leadership abilities. Therefore, you are hereby appointed as the Command Sergeant Major of Brook Army Medical Center. Command Sergeant Major Blash passes the colors back to Sergeant Major McGowan who returns the colors to the color bearer, completing the circle and signifying trust and confidence in the non-commissioned officer corps and completes the change of responsibility of Brook Army Medical Center. Ladies and gentlemen, the commander of Brook Army Medical Center, Colonel Mark E. Stackle. All right.
right. Well, good morning. Uh, good er morning, everybody. I do not think we could have planned that any better. Uh, for those who don't know, John Dobbins is a flight paramedic and has spent his career picking up injured patients and taking them to medical care. So what a great, uh, what a great way to start the, start the ceremony. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, friends and family of Brook Army Medical Center, good morning. It is fantastic to have so many of you here today to spend time, uh, to spend time with us. Really on this important milestone in the history of Brook Army Medical Center. I'd like to start by recognizing some of our distinguished guests, uh, Lieutenant General Evans, Command Star Major Gann, th thanks so much for all you do, not only for Bamsey, but for the entire Fort Sam community. Uh, we would not have been able to be as successful as an organization without the tireless advocacy that you provide, not just for our team, but for the mission that we have here in San Antonio, so thank you. Uh, Mr. Bray, thank you very much for being here. Uh, it is so impressive what you do to support our Army. Uh, and really the tremendous engagement that you've had with all different uh, medical elements here in San Antonio. You are really a force multiplier and I appreciate you, uh, appreciate you being here. Uh, Sergeant Major, or General Cox and Sergeant Major Francis, uh, thank you so much for not only the support, but really the tremendous encouragement that you've provided uh, throughout your tenures here in, the, in San Antonio. Uh, I could not be happier during this uh, really, uh, really dynamic time in military medicine to have leaders of your caliber who are going to guide us through to the next, uh, the next phase of uh, the history of military medicine. I'd also like to recognize uh, Command Star Major Dwyer. Thanks for making the trip all the way from uh, Three Corps in Fort Cavazos uh, for you and your wife to be here to celebrate this day. That, that really means a lot to us. Uh, and Command Star Major Guzman, thanks for all that you do and the support that the MIC provides in uh, contracting support for the entire, uh, for the entire community here. Um, I really want to also thank just all of the other leaders that we have here, commanders, uh, senior enlisted leaders, you know, friends, family, and supporters of Brook Army Medical Center. Uh, it, it's pretty inspiring for me to look around and to see so many of you here uh, to be with us to celebrate, uh, to celebrate this day. Uh, I'd also like to thank Chaplain Heron, Specialist Chaco, the Army Band. Uh, you really did a fantastic job and I couldn't be more grateful to have you, uh, have you here with us today. Uh, and, and to the troops in formation, they've been working really hard over the last several days to, uh, to, to train up for this and get this uh, ceremony ready. And I think they did an exceptional job. So I'd like to give them a round of applause. I'd like to further recognize a few, uh, a few special family and friends that we have with us today. And I'd like to start with the, with the Dobbins family. And so Olivia, to you, Hudson and Holden, Thanks for being just such amazing supporters of the entire Bamsey team. Uh, my wife Melinda and I could not be more grateful for all that you've done uh, while <laughs> all that you've done while uh, for all that you've done in supporting not only just the staff of uh, Bamsey but their families as well. Uh, while kind of balancing raising these two fine young men and also kind of keeping your household running uh, during the many long absences that John has had. So thanks for being such amazing, uh, amazing partners. And I'd like to recognize some of the special guests that are here on behalf of uh, Sergeant Major Blash of uh, the Hawkins family. So thanks to all of you and make sure I get your, uh, get your names right. Uh, uh, Jennifer, Quinn, Savannah, and Quinn Jr. Thanks for making the trip down from Colorado to be here. I think you're a really great example of the, of the power of relationships, of serving together early in one's career, and the connection that remains, which I think is one of the things that makes serving in our military uh, so, so special. And so really, today marks a, a, a bittersweet occasion for us, right? The change, of, uh, the change of responsibility ceremony, where we finally get a chance to recognize the exceptional service that uh, the John Dobbins has done, and then to welcome uh, Deidre Blash into, into the Bamsey family. Uh, as many of you know, um, Bamsey is the flagship of military medicine. It is the largest and most advanced medical center in the Department of Defense. And there's a few reasons for that. Not only the number of patients that we, uh, that we see, the complexity of the ill and the injured that we have a chance to, uh, to care for, but we also have some special capabilities that aren't found anywhere else in the Department of Defense. Uh, and that includes, uh, just among a few, our, our status as a level one trauma center, uh, the fact that we're the home of the, uh, the only burn center in the Department of Men's, uh, led by the Institute of Surgical Research, uh, and then also it, in the, right behind you, the Center for Intrepid, uh, really a world-renowned uh, multidisciplinary rehab organization. 
The other thing that sets BMC apart from many of its other uh, medical facilities in, uh, in the Department of Defense is we are the largest medical readiness training platform. Just to give you an example of how, uh, how broad that is, is uh, in a given year we train over 600 different physicians and over 35 different uh, medical and surgical specialties. We train hundreds of other allied health professionals and thousands, thousands of our enlisted personnel from, uh, from all of the different services come here to our hospital-based training programs to get a chance to, uh, to be trained in this, uh, this amazing uh, organization. And so really to lead an organization of this scope with this, uh, with this breadth of responsibility, it really takes a special group of leaders in order to be, to be able to do that. And I frequently comment to the BAMC team that we really are blessed to have a team of all-stars that work within, uh, within BAMC. Really, if you look across military medicine, we have some of the most gifted, talented, and experienced uh, medical leaders uh, from multiple services, Army, Air Force, and, uh, and others. Uh, and, and that's something I think that really is special. But then to take that one step further, if you think about the kind of leader that you need in the command team to lead that team of all-stars, it takes a really special capability in order, to, in order to do that. And I think John Dobbins, uh, for those who know him, really possesses all of those char characteristics in, uh, in spades. Uh, if you think about uh, you know, not only his depth of experience from all the different leadership jobs he's had, both in the operational and, ga and garrison environments, uh, and really his passion of developing high functioning teams. That's something he brought to our organization that we got to see each and every day as he, as he brought the best out in our folks. It also requires a sense of professionalism and ability to be a humble leader because many times you will not be the expert in the room as, uh, as the commander or the command sergeant major. There will be other people who are more knowledgeable about the topic that, uh, that's at hand. Uh, but what John Dobbins brought was, uh, was a humbleness and a willingness to learn from that provide his uh, expertise and experience, and then to help us make good decisions. And I think that's something that, uh, that he should be particularly proud of during his, time, uh, during his time here. Really, John Dobbins has really been pivotal with, uh, with building alliances and partnerships across the entire Joint Base San Antonio family, I think as uh, evidenced by so many of you uh, being here in the audience today. And not only just within the military community, but also the city of San Antonio in, uh, in, in South Texas. Uh, again, really, uh, really strong job of building partnerships. Uh, and that really, those efforts and what he has done during his uh, little over a year in the position has really cemented BAMC's reputation as the, as the pinnacle of mil military medical readiness. And so that's uh, something that he should be proud of. One of his major and keystone initiatives is he really focused during his time on expanding the scope of care that our enlisted personnel could perform within a hospital. Uh, and I think that was particularly critical at this time in our military's history as we start to think about what that next fight might look like and really the tremendous demands that we're going to put on our most junior medics up there at the front line. You know, where we're going to have delayed evacuation times and potentially many, many more casualties than we're used to seeing. And so that requires us to make sure that we prepare those young men and women to be prepared for that, uh, that day that we, hope, uh, that, we hope never, that we hope never comes. On a personal note, John Dobbins has made me a better commander. He is my most trusted advisor and the person that I go to when we need to solve our most challenging uh, situations. And I will tell you, there has been no shortages of challenging situations to lead through, and I couldn't be more blessed to have you, uh, have you by my side as we, uh, as we do that. So John, thanks for all that you've done for this organization. You should be extremely proud of the job that you did, and you will be very, very missed, so, uh, so thank you. Fortunately, uh, the Army is sending us another talented and capable leader in Command Sergeant Major uh, Deidre Flash. Uh, and really, she comes from us with a lot of different experience uh, as, a, as a, a senior enlisted advisor in multiple medical treatment facilities, including most recently uh, out at Fort Belvoir, where she was the senior enlisted leader at the, uh, the Augusta T. Uh, Alexander T. Augusta Military Medical Center. They recently changed their name, so I'm still trying to get used to the new, uh, the new name. Uh, when I asked one of her prior commanders, uh, Colonel Kathy Spangler, who is here, uh, is here in the audience with us today, to, to kind of reflect on, on what kind of leader Sergeant Major Blash uh, is, she provided a few different insights. She said, one, Sergeant Major Blash, it, it, her, one of her greatest strengths is her passion for leading those who have volunteered to serve our country. And I think that obviously is one of the things that you are first looking for in a, in a, in a leader. 
Um, the other thing is, uh, you know, want to make sure that we recognize that she's a huge, uh, huge proponent for self-development and really pushes the people under her to take advantage of all the different opportunities that the military, that the military provides. And she does that by leading by example. Uh, she's an extremely humble leader, but very accomplished. She has her doctorate in uh, strategic leadership. She has a master's degree in science in uh, organizational leadership and somebody who really kind of practices uh, what she preach preaches. Uh, but most importantly, she's a grounded leader. The number one thing that focuses uh, Sergeant Major Blash is her, uh, is her family, specifically her children and her grandchildren. And so I think you're going to be a tremendous asset to, uh, to, the Bamsey, uh, to the Bamsey team. And so really, your exemplary record speaks for itself, but I absolutely think you're going to be the right leader at the right time to help us lead Bamsey into the next, uh, to the next several, uh, several months and years. So I really look forward to serving alongside you. Uh, so thank you very much for being here. I'd like if we could give one last round of applause both to Sar Major Dobbins and Sar Major Blash. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the outgoing Brook Army Medical Center Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major John E. Dobbins. the right one and good morning distinguished guests family friends and outstanding BAMC teammates uh, thank you all for being here today I'm truly honored and humbled to be a part of uh, for you to be a part of today's ceremony I know a lot of you have traveled from afar so I appreciate that and to also those who have uh, joined us virtually thank you I want to give special thanks to Specialist Chaco, as always, with her uh, amazing rendition of the National Anthem, and uh, also Chaplain Heron for your wonderful invocation, and also the 323rd Army Band, who uh, always add a special touch, so uh, thank you very much for that. I also want to thank the entire team that helped put this together. It takes, uh, it, it's no small feat, and you did amazing, so thank you very much. Can we give one more round of applause, please? I want to thank uh, Brigadier General Tehan and Colonel Stackle for uh, giving me the opportunity to join this great organization. Sir, your unwavering trust, exceptional leadership, and steadfast friendship have made my tenure here a truly positive experience. Your guidance not, has not only strengthened our team, but also has inspired us to strive for excellence in every endeavor. So thank you, sir. Brigadier General Cox and Sergeant Major Francis, I want to thank you uh, for the mentorship and support. Uh, it's been great being a part of MRC West. Uh, as we all know, the best is in the West. <laughs> to all the members of Team Bamsey, thank you. Your ongoing commitment to excellence in delivering safe, high-quality health care to our nation's service members and their families is nothing short of extraordinary. Each day, you exemplify the dedication and skill that make Bamsey a beacon of hope and healing. Reflecting on our accomplishments, I am incredibly proud of what we have achieved together. BAMC has led the military health system with the highest case mix index and the average daily census of any DOD facility. For example, our daily operations include 2,962 outpatient visits, 221 emergency room visits, 12 trauma activations, I think you just heard one, 53 inpatient admissions, and 50 surgical procedures, just to name a few. These numbers are a testament to the relentless dedication and hard work of each of our team members, and I thank you. And moreover, our ability to conduct numerous field training exercises and regional trauma system exercises has significantly enhanced our readiness and response capabilities. Most recently, Team BAMC uh, won the best squad, best leader, best soldier, along with three of our members earning the German Armed Forces Proficiency Badge during the Medical Readiness Command West Best Leader Competition. This type of performance is indicative of the entire organization and is a reflection of the importance we place on excellence. I also want to highlight the crucial role of our service members, both Army and our Air Force alike. You are the heart of Team Bamsey. Your relentless dedication and tireless efforts, along with our dedicated civilians and contractors, enable Bamsey to meet our vision of being the pinnacle of readiness, training, and innovative healthcare. To the command teams, deputies, enlisted advisors, and special staff, I want to thank you for what you do every day to make this organization succeed. Each of you have a crucial role, and it's been a pleasure to work with you. On a personal note, I must thank my wife and children. Your unwavering support and sacrifice have been my anchor. 
allowing me to remain focused and to perform at my best. Your love and encouragement have been instrumental in our journey, and I'm eternally grateful to have you at my side and on my home team, so thank you. I'm also extremely grateful for the many, many mentors uh, that have uh, guided me throughout my career. The list of ex is extensive, and uh, I couldn't possibly mention them all, but thank you all. You know who you are. Star Major Blash, you're inheriting a top-notch organization who will amaze and impress you at every turn. I have no doubt that under your leadership, BAMSI will continue to reach new heights of excellence. I am confident that you are the right person to help lead this organization. Thank you all once again for your support and dedication. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve as your Command Sergeant Major. BAMSI 7, signing off. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brooke Army Medical Center Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Deidre T. Blash. Gotta find which book this. Oh, here we go. Good morning, distinguished guests, friends, family. Thank you for taking out a moment of your busy day to attend the ceremony. Thank you to the soldiers standing before us. You look absolutely amazing. Spessus Chaco, you did an amazing job, an amazing, amazing job um, with the national anthem. It sounds wonderful. I want to first thank God for ordering my steps in his word. Um, I also want to thank my children, Janicia and Dedrick, who is watching uh, online. So last week, y'all, I, I made a big mistake. My, my daughter was sitting next to me and I did not mention my family. So I, I wanted to say them, thank you to them first because I do what I do for them with them, and I cannot do anything without their support, without their love, and I love them so much. Last week, my grandson graduated high school, and he's on his way to Valdosta State, and I'm so, so very proud of them. Two down, two to go. I'm so ex proud of them. Uma loves you so much. Um, thank you, Jen, Quinn, Savannah, little Quinn, for traveling all the way from Savannah. Um, from Colorado, um, 20 years of friendship. We're more like brothers and sisters. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Quinn, you said that you're not coming to any more ceremonies until I retire. You say that every ceremony you come to. Thank you so much for coming. Colonel Spangler, thank you for traveling from Fort Belvoir and sprinkling that rainbows and unicorn energy dust. Seriously, thank you for coming and keeping me laughing and motivated, and thank you for your support. It's a great day to be back home, home of the combat medic, that is, home of Army medicine, home where it all started for me, home just up the road there where my passion for taking care of people started, for Colonel Stack. It is home of new beginnings, home of new friendships, home of new partnerships, home of new legacies that we will build together. Command Sergeant Major Dobbins, they say you know you're doing something well when your ideas are stolen. Thank you for being such an awesome leader to have a vision for our medics it is no surprise why you were chosen for 18 MedCom. I will continue to build on your legacy that you left here. And I wish you and your family well and all the best wishes in Hawaii. Thank you for the opportunity to lead here at BAMSI. BAMSI 7, signing on.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Army song. The words to the Army song are located on the back of the program. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. You are invited to come forward and bid farewell to Command Sergeant Major Dobbins and his family. Please form the receiving line to their right beside the podium. There will be a reception honoring Command Sergeant Major Blash and her family immediately following the ceremony at the garden entrance vestibule area. One team, one purpose, combat ready care, this will defend. <laughs> 